I'm Kimberly Gibbs at the Florida Black Expo presented by Florida Blue. We have seminars and panels, celebrities and vendors ensuring fun for all. This evening, in order to support our mission of helping people and communities achieve better health, we are supporting four local organizations, and for every attendee that identifies an organization of their choice, that takes a picture with a sign right. representing that organization, yes. if they tweet that photo, then each organization will receive $50. Wow. <laughs> and we will be giving a total of $20,000 maximum to those four organizations organizations. We're at the Florida Black Expo. We just did a reading with Habit Heroes, and I'm speaking with Marco. Now, you were the Iron Man. What was so good about the reading today? It was good to introduce the kids to what it means to stay healthy, you know, right. creating great habits and, and eating right. As a former professional athlete, right. you know, I was fortunate to kind of get an understanding of how to take care of your body. And um, so now, you know, even as I'm getting older, I try to do a lot of things to prevent, you know, and I, and I think Florida Blue is doing an outstanding job of introducing prevention, which I think is probably the biggest thing for the longer term. It's such a great event because it just really gives a lot of exposures to local businesses here in the community. So it's just important for all of us to reach out within the community and just really network and just, hey, see what else is going on in your city. We're doing the summit today. I'm here for the Men's Health Summit, the mentoring program to talk about and try to encourage uh, men to step up and become mentors. So, I mean, look at all that. That's a lot going on under one roof. One of the things that I admire about the Black Expo is it gives the African-American community an opportunity to showcase their businesses and also it reaches out to the youth in the community and have very meaningful seminars that touch up on some of the issues that we're having in our community with young black males, young black females, and how we can better those situations going forward.